Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today's video is all about how to get unemployment payment from German federal government and uh, if you are eligible or not and uh, how can you be eligible if you are unemployed. Let's get into it. Yeah, get into it. If you are living and working in Germany since more than 12 months and if you are paying your unemployment payment then suddenly let's assume you lost your job somehow it can happen to anyone there are different type of unemployment payments first of all you start with unemployment payment one and then if you are still unemployment more than one year then you get basically the second one the German government basically offers you the unemployment support if you are suddenly unemployed you get some money from the government for one year. I also heard that you have to basically work in the same position for two years, but maybe this is related to the state that you are living in. This is possible because some rules in Germany, it changes according to the state. So let's assume you are unemployed right you have to call Arbeitsamt immediately that you are unemployed now also three months before you are unemployed you can also call them and you're gonna have a telephone interview with them and they will want some information about your current job or like about your CV once this telephone interview is done they send you a letter and with this letter you get a password so with this password you can basically register yourself to their portal and you have to always use this specific password to log into this portal and you create basically an account in this portal in this website and you answer so many questions about your CV so you basically answer all information to here damn it's because this agent they will find some jobs for you for your CV whenever there is an opening they will send this to you so they want you to apply that job nice Sometimes this job is not related to your CV or not really related to your CV. And at that moment, you have right to not apply. However, sometimes you have to explain them why you are not applying. This is something that they want to understand why you are not applying. For example, maybe you are an engineer and they send you a position for a technician. And you don't want that because you are not a technician, you are an engineer. So in that moment, you can explain like, hey, you know what? This is not a thing that I was looking for and that's why I will not apply for that but sometimes still they want you to apply from that moment you are basically getting 60% of your current salary if you have kids then 67% of your current salary for one year also you should be fit to work for 15 hours per week the other important thing related to this topic is you had a job where you have paid into the governmental unemployment insurance fund for at least 12 months in the last 13 months in my previous video i was talking about the uh, niederlassungserlaubnis um, settlement resident permit actually to get unemployment payment you don't have to get settlement resident permit so you just need to work one year in that position in germany and then basically you, you can apply to get this money and the wow. second one was the Arbeitlosgeld 2, which is not really relevant for so many people, I think. With this first uh, type of unemployment payment, you get 60% of your current salary. And if you have children, you get 67% of your current salary. You get this for one year. And after that, if you still are unemployed person, then they are basically switching your payment process to two. You are not getting 60% of your salary anymore. You are basically getting some social support from the German federal government. They pay your accommodation, maybe your rent. Basically, it's not so good. So you don't really be a social person with this money. But in the meantime, in this year, in one year, they basically send you so many job offers, like maybe, I don't know, three, four. And at the same time, of course, you are also looking for a job and uh, I mean in one year it is highly possible that you are going to find a good job you can also accept the job that they found and then not still continue looking for another job but generally people don't really accept it if it is unrelated to your current job then it's also not good for example then they're gonna pay you less less than what you were earning that's why maybe it's it's better if you wait a little bit and then earn the salary that you basically deserve because if the position is unrelated to your uh, your current job which it's possible they do this type of thing thank you so much for watching that's from my side i see you guys next week <laughs>